Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for March 4th, 2023 from Proverbs chapter 3, The Treasure of Wisdom. Solomon continues with explaining the virtues of wisdom. This is not an earthly wisdom, but God's wisdom. Verse 13, Blessed is the one who finds wisdom and the one who gets understanding for the gain from her is better than the gain from silver or her profit better than gold. Yes, faith is a gift from God. As we learn more about God's grace, we grow in wisdom. Solomon equates that God's wisdom is much better than the profit of silver or gold. And if you think about it, it is. After death, silver and gold have no value to you, but the gift of faith lasts throughout the rest of eternity. Solomon then continues, verse 15, She is more precious than jewels, and nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. The she and the her that Solomon is referring to is God's wisdom. So it's being described as a she and a her. Long life, like eternal life, for all who believe and trust in our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, amen. But Solomon also mentions riches and honor. And you might be thinking, what are the riches and honor of paradise? I thought, pastor, you said we can't take it with us. You're right, you can't take that silver and gold with you but let me let Jesus himself explain this from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 9, verse 19. Jesus said, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So yes, Jesus himself describes the kingdom of God as like a treasure. Solomon then continues about God's wisdom, verse 17. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who lay hold of her, those who hold her fast are called blessed. The tree of life, first mentioned in the book of Genesis in the Garden of Eden, and is also referenced in the Revelation of St. John, where believers are free to eat of the tree of life. Remembering that faith, God's wisdom, is the key that brings us to eternal life along with the forgiveness of sins. So again, Solomon is equating all of this in a particular verse saying, hang on to God's wisdom. It will bring to you the tree of everlasting life. Verse nine, the Lord by wisdom founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the deeps broke open and the clouds drop down the dew. Now, here the term wisdom is sort of applied to the creation of the earth. Now, faith is a gift from God, and God did create the heavens and the earth. So Solomon applies God's wisdom to the creation. Where does this come in? Well, consider the gospel writer, St. John, notes that Jesus, who is the word of God, was also involved in the creation and faith and trust in Jesus does indeed save. So let's put this, these two together as we hear from the gospel of John, chapter one, verse one. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. So Solomon is correct. Wisdom is part of the creation. And it is important to, for us to continue and listen to what God's word is indeed teaching us and to pass that wisdom down to the next generation. 
Now, I can't make anyone believe, but I can continue to teach them and to impress upon them how important the, this wisdom is, just as Solomon is doing for his sons and also for us. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.